the one, the only, Ben Seal. Good morning and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube. Just off it. Today we start with Sarah's Gitten. I have a friend over here. Come here, come here, come here. This is my friend I met. I, I forgot your name. What's your name? My name is Rev Adam Yitzchak. Rev Adam Yitzchak. You have a last name? Polanovsky. Polanovsky. He is trying to get me to use him as a coach on social media. He feels I am not well, well enough equipped to do it by myself. I'm probably not well enough equipped to do it myself. He probably could help me, but I don't have the finances to pay him. So it's not going to work out. But he told me something about my shiurim. I said, I do the shiurim for myself. You know, I do it because I enjoy giving the shiurim. He said, how is Hashem going to bless you if you're not, at least partially, doing it for everybody else? Serving humanity, as he says. And that's what God wants. What's my response to that? That God wants you to love yourself. That's the myth of Ahavta l'reyecha kamocha. What's reyecha? Mm -hmm. Reyecha. Why does it say l'chavercha? L'reyecha is your bad side. You should love your bad side. It's a her. Just like you love your Yitzhar Tov. But the whole mitzvah is to love yourself. There's no mitzvah to love anybody else. It's a mistake. There's no mitzvah to love anybody else. The only mitzvah is to love yourself. Why do you have to care about anyone else? You don't have to care about anyone else. It's the biggest mistake in the world. I believe one of the, the Sifrei Muster, um, Rav Velozhin, or Chaim Velozhin, his father told him, he said, the, the main purpose that you were created is to help other people. And besides the fact that I disagree with it, it's really counterintuitive because... You know, it says all over the Torah, Does it's, it doesn't even logically doesn't make any sense. Why should I care about other people? There's so many people in the world. I have to please everybody. Want I a politician? No, you worry about yourself. God wants you. The mitzvah of loving God. God wants you to, to love yourself more than He wants Him to love you. More than He wants you to love God. He wants you to love yourself. And there's no one that loves himself more than I do. I even love myself more than you, Adam Yitzchak, as if it's possible. And this amazing payas that he's got over I here. Tried. A couple one, years. one day I can hopefully have payas like him. But, you know, my hair is receding. No, it's not receding. I'm 41 years old. Anything's possible. How old are you? 28. He's 28 years old. Koach. I'd like to see your hair when you're 41 years old. <laughs> I don't think enough keep us. Even if I'm balding, I'll be okay. <laughs> Adam Yitzchak, you can find them. Where 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 do you promote yourself on Instagram? Instagram, TikTok, yeah. Uh, this guy's all over the place. Reb Adam Yitzchak. Reb, Reb Adam, Yitzchak. Adam Yitzchak. And he can. What's what do you what do you promote? What what type of stuff you offer? Uh, I'm for, first and foremost, my content is Torah based. I like to share ideas and inspirational videos regarding the inner dimensions of the Torah and how it relates practically to our inner work in life, in regards to giving and loving to the other. First and foremost, ourselves, I agree. You know what? We should have a debate between me and you. That'd be wonderful. You want to have a debate? That'd be cool. We'll set it up. Are you do live here? Yeah. Okay, we're going to set it up a debate between me and him over what's more important, loving yourself or loving other people, other Jews, right? Not loving Jews or everybody, humanity. I, I, I go off for all the above. That's a, it's all right, it's going to be me against Elon Musk over here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, All right, nice good. having you on. We'll, we'll, so we'll, 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 we'll get you back for a debate. Sounds good. We can post it both on the phone. Your endeavors. All right, I'm in. Shkoya. Shkoya. Thank you. All right, so we're back to Masechus Gittin over here. Um, let's start from the top. We left off yesterday. Gimel and Olive. The Gemara says, um, the top line, Hi, Kulahu. We said yesterday that we talked about Rabba's opinion. We had two opinions yesterday, Rabba and Rava. Rabba and Rava had a machlokis about what's the reason that you have to say Bufani Nechta, Bufani Nechta. The person who brings it from Dina Sayam to Eretz Yisrael. One opinion was because people outside of Eretz Yisrael are not be keen to write the get Lishma. So you need this person to certify that it was written in Lishma. According to Rava, the reason is because in Eretz Yisrael, there's no Edom Lakayim the Shtar. Normally a Shtar, you have to Makayim the Shtar. You have to verify the signatures. And in Eretz Yisrael, they don't have the people to verify the signatures. So this person says he saw it written and signed. So he verifies the signatures for you. So we said yesterday that really you need Shtay Edom. One Edom is not enough, according to Rava, right? In order to certify that it was Lashma, 
how come one is good enough? So the, the Gemara laughed off, really, well, there is a rove, rove b'ki and l'shma, but even besides rove b'ki and l'shma, the fact that she's an iguna, right? If she doesn't get a get, she'll, she'll become an alma, she'll become an aguna. She'll be stuck. And she won't be able to get out of her marriage to remarry somebody else. Therefore, the Rabbanan relied on one witness, even though in other places they wouldn't. So the Gemara says, Hi, Kulahu. Is this really a leniency? Chumrahu. It's really a stringency. If you need two them to come from Dinas Yam and certify that it was written in the Shema, the husband he can't come and protest that really is a false to false get. Because once you have two them, two them come and protest against two them, they can't pull each other out. And we're left with a good get. If the husband can come with two them and he can knock down this person said finding nothing, finding nothing. When answers came with Amar if they come and knows though, in front of how many people does he give it? La Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Chanina, Charamar b'fnei Shnayim, v'Charamar b'fnei Gimel. We're going to see later on in the Gemara and a couple of the that when this person says v'fani nechem, v'fani nechem, he has to give it in front of either two or three people. Mikara made a dike, right? It's going to be public knowledge what he's doing. So, and if he actually is lying about this, so it's going to be, right? The reason a, a husband would come ma'arer is because possibly there's something, there's something wrong. It actually wasn't true that they gave the get. Now this person, when he gives the get, he has to get, and he says, but funny enough, funny enough, he has to do it either, either in front of two or three people. So he's going to make sure that he's being accurate. So therefore, if he's being accurate, it's unlikely the Baal is going to challenge with two of them. He doesn't want to give himself a bad reputation. According to the Rav, says the reason you have to say is because in Eretz Israel there's not not enough Edom, not enough people to make the star. You should need two. Maybe the Havi Akim Shtaros the Alma. Mesechas Ksuvos. When he talks about Akim Shtaros, right? Someone has a star, they bring it to Basin. Technically, you have to actually validate the signatures, and you need two two people. Why only one here? Eidach and Emma Bisurin. Eidach is believed by Yisurin. He answers. Hey, more Damrin on Eidach and Emma Bisurin. Gigom Chaticha Savik Shel Chelav Savik Shel Shuman. We're not sure if the piece is kosher or not. The low is Chazik Yisura. There, we're not sure. There's no status quo. But Hachal is Chazik Yisura. The Eishes says she's married. We know she's married. Everyone knows she's married. Have you Davar Shabbat? I'm Davar Shabbat. Pachot Mishnayim. It's Davar Shabbat. In order to remove her from a status as a married woman, you need to aid them. One eight is not good enough. The Gemara says, "Bedino do bekiim shtaros nami lo libaye." The Gemara says, "Bekiim shtaros itself is only there abundant. You need two eight them." There is shlakish, like Rosh Hashanah says, "Dam Rosh Hashanah eight them achasum la shtar nasta mikishim mikishin echra yidus on the basin." If I get a shtar, basin is a shtar. It has witnesses who signed on it. It's like midal raisa. It's like the eight them are right now being investigated by basin. Basin accepts their testimony. The rabbanan who the atzeruch, the rabbanan mandated to verify the signatures. Because of the fact that <clears throat> she might become an aguna, she might become a woman who is tied up and she's not allowed to remarry. So they're a make to wave, to wave this to Rabbanan, or at least to only have part of it, one out of two eight. And Rabbanan, so the Mara says, mm-hmm. the same question I had before is a chumro, the mitzvah like tray, if you. Actually, necessitate two people to say he can't come and protest. If it's only one, the husband can come. And possibly, Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Chanina, Chalam Bar B'fnei Shnayim, the Chalam B'fnei Gimel, Mikara made a die. We lost here really The same answer we gave before, right? There's very little possibility the Baal's going to challenge. He only challenged it if there's actually something to challenge. This person. Who's saying fine enough, fine enough. He has to give it in front of two or three people, so he doesn't want to give himself a bad reputation. He's going to make sure that it's actually true, and therefore we're not worried about error or about people are protesting it. Rava, my time with Amar Karaba. So, Rava, why didn't you say that crap? What's wrong with Rava's reasoning of the Shema? Amar Lecha, Mi Kasani, Befani Nachta of the Shema, Befani Nachta of the Shema. If it was him, it should have said the person saying it should say Befani Nachta of the Shema. That's the the important factor, right? It should say the Shema. Why did he leave out the word the Shema? The rabbi, what rabbi answer? But then who did listen? Haki, it really should, the person should say this. Aladi mifshit leil dibura. If you make him say a, a lot of words, finding nechta of the shema, finding nechta of the shema, three words, asi lemigzie, right? He's not going to remember to say all these words, and I'll say finding nechta without saying the word the shema, and it'll be an invalid declaration. Hashanami asi lemigzie. 
So here also, if you necessitate three words, it's going to leave it out. So sorry, the Gemara says, "Hashanah and Asking the Megzei." Here, the funny nechta, funny nechta. Maybe he'll also leave words out. Maybe he'll just say a funny nechta and leave out funny nechta, right? Or he'll just say a funny, or you know, he won't say the whole thing. So Gemara says, "Chad and Mitlas Goyes." If it's three words, funny nechta l'shma, he'll take out one. Chad and Mitarte lo Goyes. However, two words, funny nechta or a funny nechta, he's not going to take out words. The rabbi, he'll remember to say that. Rabbi, my time alamar karaba. So, rabbi, why didn't he say like rabbi? The reason eight a.m. is swimming in the kaima. Amar lecha imke nistin befani nechtam v'sula. What's important? We're talking about kiyum shtarus over here. Eight a.m. is swimming in the kaima. You only have to mekayim the chasimos, the signatures, not the actual words that are written in the get. That's all that you say. He only has to say befani nechtam v'sula. Befani nechtam v'lamoli. Why does he say befani nechtam also? Shmami not being on the shma. That's why the. The necessity is because we're worried about the aspect of Lashma. The Rava, what would you say back? They didn't do listening hachi. Really, you're right. It should say fine nechtam. It just doesn't have to say nechtam. El dem ken asid lechlufi bekiyum sharas tam. The reason they necessitated him to say fine nechtam, fine nechtam, because if he just said fine nechtam, so then people would think it's a regular kiyum star, right? On the chasim, you only need one. But we know other kiyum stars you need two, and we don't want to make a mistake that other kiyum stars one eight is sufficient. You might think other kiyum shara is only one eight. Rabba, Rabba would say, "By me, dami hasam yadina hacha v'fanai." Rabba says there's no reason people will be confused, right? There, right? By regular kiyum sharos, people come and verify, right? And they say, "We know these are the signatures." Here, he doesn't say, "We I know these are the signatures." He says, "It happened in front of me." He's not exactly verifying the signature. Hasam isha lo mehemna. When it comes to regular kiyum sharos. You need valid witness. The widow, woman does not believe. Hacha, we're going to see over here. A woman is believed to say, Hasam, Baal Davar. There, Baal Davar lo mehemen. One of the people who's involved in the star, right? Whether they're getting the money or giving the money, they are not believed. They're not trustworthy. Hacha, Baal Davar mehemen. Here, if a man gives his wife a get outside of Eretz Yisrael and he says, go to Eretz Yisrael and give it to the court in Eretz Yisrael, the woman herself, that she's a Baal Davar, she's part of the star, she's part of it over here. So <clears throat> she believes so they would never confuse the two. The halachas are very different. Let me just close the window so it shouldn't be so loud over here. So <clears throat> you never get confused over here. So there's no reason to worry about confusion. It must be like me that the reason is because of uh, if the Adam or the aid who said funny nechtam, funny nechtam, if he would say, I know, right, would he, of course he believed. He doesn't have to say funny nechtam, he can say, the whole purpose is for Akim Shars. He can say, I know, right? Interchange it with the word, I know. And therefore, since he can say that, so therefore, a word will confuse the other Akim Sharos. <clears throat> therefore, to differentiate, only one person is ne- is needed, is necessary. According to Rabbah, Amr Hushayn, Bikim Lishma. He says the reason people are not are not knowledgeable in Lishma, Man Haitana Dabai Ksiva Lishma. Who is the author of our Mishnah, right? That needs that the star be written lishma, not right? Chasima, the sign has to be written for signed for a specific woman. How do you know it has to be written for a certain, a certain woman? Ubai, sorry, the bai ksiva lishma, ubai chasima lishma. It needs both, right? It says pani nechta, pani nechta. Both of them have to be lishma. Who is which tana? We're trying to find who tana, which tana it is. Top of Gimel Beis Ireb Mayor Chasima Boy Ksiva Lo Boy. According to Mayor, we'll see in a second. You only need the signature to be Lishma. This non ain't kosin mechuba lekarka. And the Mishnah later on says you can't write a get on something which is attached to the ground. It has to be basically v'nasan b'yada isha. You have to put it in the hand, not that you have to first cut it from the ground. Kasol mechuba. Let's say someone wrote the words of a get on a tree, something which is attached to the ground, the karka talshu, and then. They took it up, they cut it off, chasmu, and then they signed it while it was off from the ground. And they gave it to her kosher. It's kosher. 
So you see, the only important thing is the chasim. It's only the chasim we need to respond. Even Rebbe if you'll say our mission reflects the opinion of Rebbe Lazar, Ksiva boy, chasim lo boy. You only need the ksiva to be lishma, not the chasim. We'll see in a second why. V'chitema la olam Rebbe Lazar he v'chilo boy Rebbe Lazar chasim lo lishma mida raisa mida rabban and boy. You can see in a second. Rebbe Lazar holds famous machlokas. Eidi chasima karsi or eidi mesira karsi. Remember, holds the eidi chasima karsi, right? The, the, the signees in the the signatures in the get is really what makes the get. Remember, Rebbe says no. When you really need when you give over the get, aid him to witness the giving over the get. So the chasima is not so important according to Rebbe The ksiva is more important. So according to Rebbe you need the ksiva to be the shema. But the Gemara suggests maybe Rebbe Lazar chasima the shema with the rice. Uh, he doesn't need. They're abundant by. However, maybe the Rabbanan he necessitates also, and he could be the author of our mission. That means Rabbanan, you need the Chasim of the Bilishma. Is that really true? We find, we'll see in a second, there's three types of get which are hustled, the Midor Raith that are kosher, and the Rabbanan passed them. Below Bali Rabbalaz are Chasim Lishma. And Rabbalaz did not add a fourth one, right? That it's possible it doesn't have Chasim Lishma. The Snan. The Mishnah says, Kimo Gitim Psulin. Kimo Gitim are possible. The Mnisas have Vlad Kasher. If she got married with them and she had a child with the second husband, the Vlad is not a mom's there because she's not, Midaraisa, she's not married to the other man. The Rabbanan said it's not a good get, but Midaraisa said it's a good get. What are the examples? Kasav Iksav Yadu. Let's say the husband himself wrote the get. He didn't have a silver scribe write it. There's no witnesses. Midaraisa said that's a valid get. Or he didn't write it, but there's witnesses. You're supposed to write the, the day when you give it. Or when it's written, you're supposed to write that day, and it wasn't written. It's kasher mi daraisa. Yeshbo zman meimbo el edacha. Let's say it was written by a scribe. It has the time. There's only one a, not two a. Dem harei elu shlosha gitim tzul. These are three gitim which are possible mi rabbanan. And this is a vlad kasher, and therefore she gets remarried, and she has a child with the second husband. The vlad is not a mamzer. Lezer almer. Lezer says afal pish ein alav edim ela shenasal alav ifnei edim kasher. He says even if there's no edim at all. The scroll, the scribe wrote it, and there's no Adam at all on it, but she gave it in front of the Adam. It's kosher. Not only that, it has a, it has the power of a full star that your gove even from encumbered property. And the chasim shubatim basically means properties which you have a lien on, which a woman when she's married, when she signs, when when the ksuba is given to the woman when she gets married, so. Basically, whatever properties a husband has during their marriage, he sells. She has a lien on that property to collect the ksuba. And ksuba, Zaka ksuba, as we learned, the Rabbanan instituted that she has a lien on his entire property to collect her ksuba after the marriage dissolves. So <clears throat> here, even though the get was not have Adam on it, she can still collect the chasim and shubadim. So ain't Adam chosman? I'll get Adam they take all them. The only reason they necessitated signing on it is take on all them. To make sure that you know it's easier to approve the transaction to get. So you see what there were three instances where the Rabban apostle and Rabbi Ezra was talked about it. He Rabbi Ezra himself commented on this Mishnah, and he did not add a fourth case where where the Chasima was not done Lishma. So you see, he doesn't need Chasima, even the Rabban to be Lishma. So the Gemara goes back. Elar Meyer, he maybe it's Rabban Meyer. Avchila by Rabban Meyer Chasiva Lishma midaraisa midarabban and by. Maybe we see, you know, Remeir holds 80 chasima karsi. The chasima has to be good midal raisa. It has to be lishma. But maybe the chasima, the chasima does not have to be lishma. But maybe midal rabbanan needs that. But that's not true. Amar of Nachman, Omar Yar Remeir, Afilu Matzab Ashba. Even if you found, you went to the garbage dump and you found a get, and it, it had a, it was written, but it wasn't signed yet. The chasmu v'nasnu la kasha. And he's, he had it signed for a certain woman. The Ksiva was not done Lishma, it was done for some other woman. But it had to be in the same name as your wife. And you signed it for your wife. You did the Ksiva Lishma, the Ksiva was definitely done Lishma. It's kosher. Maybe they'll tell me, maybe they'll tell me, maybe it's only meant to say, it's kosher. But they're born and they say it wouldn't be kosher. Ihachi, Omer, Ayar, Meir, Dvar Torah, mi boil. Meir shouldn't have said it the way he said it. He should have said, Dvar Torah, according to the Torah, it's valid if he finds it in the garbage and he gives it to her. He should have indicated it's only the Dvar Torah, the Rabbanan, it's possible. The fact that he didn't say that shows that even the Rabbanan, you don't need Ksiva Lishma. So we'll stop over here. The Gemara is, we'll continue discussing or trying to figure out who the author of our mission is, according to Rabbah. 
Stay tuned for Ian with Ben Sion, where I talk about a machlokas here in Rashi and Tosvos. Um, the, the, this Brisa, this Mishnah on Gilan Bay is mentioned that Rebbe Lezer holds that there's no Adem on the star at all. The husband wrote it and he gave it to her, and there were Adem on the Masira, according to Rebbe Lezer. She's going in a chasim and she collects them encumbered properties. Is this talking about a woman who's married? Or is it talking about general, another type of star, right? Someone who who uh, who owes owes money to somebody, right? When you borrow money from somebody, yeah, if it's written a star, you have a lien on his property. You have a lien lean on his property. Tosin says it's not talking about. A get of Isha. We'll find out why Tosos says that. And Rashi says it is talking about Isha. What's my clothes, Rashi and Tosos? Ian Othman Sion coming up next.